Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. We are finally back home. I feel like it's been so long since I did a proper sit down video, but I thought I would hop in here and share all the things that I picked up while I was in Paris. This is not even all of the bags. I had to do a little bit of refining. So I'm really excited to share with you all. This was highly requested on Instagram. So let's go ahead and dive right into the haul. So if you guys missed it, I did already upload part one and part two of our Paris vlog. I'll link it up in the corner, but I went on a spontaneous girls trip and I went with Alyssa and Alicia. We had such a good time. I picked up a lot of stuff from Dior, a lot of little designer pieces. Let's dive into the haul and we'll start with some of the pieces I got at the beginning of the trip. So first things first, I knew I wanted to get some new sneakers and I have a lot of really cool like streetwear sneakers, lots of Jordan ones in my collection, but I wanted to get a pair that was a little bit more for like every day, kind of like a fun classic designer sneaker. And I've had my eye on these Dior sneakers for years and years and years. When they first came out with like the high top, kind of like rain booty looking sneakers, I was obsessed with them. Saw this colorway in the Dior store and I was just obsessed. I actually wanted to get low top ones because I feel like these are gonna be more comfortable, good for every day. I do have high top Converse that I wear and I feel like sometimes they make my calves look too big or they make my legs look weird with certain outfits. So these are just a really great versatile shoe and I love shopping in Paris because with the VAT refund, you do end up saving a little bit of money, which is always great. And this time around, I just knew I wanted to splurge and get some pieces that kind of spiced up my closet, you know? So I'm really happy with these. They're really comfortable. I wore them the first day I got them, like didn't even have to worry about breaking them in or anything like that. I wore them for like six, to seven hours and my feet were totally fine. They are a little bit more like stiffer around the edges than like standard Converse or anything like that are, but the fact that I could wear brand new shoes for that long without my feet hurting that bad, very comfortable, highly recommend. I bought them true to size and I did do a little bit of cleaning to them because I wore them like walking around pretty much since the day that I bought them in Paris. And I do have a video all about how I clean my sneakers. I'll go ahead and link up in the corner right here. Also wanted to mention with my sneakers, they did add in an extra pair of shoelaces as well, which is kind of a nice feature. Next thing that I purchased was a bag. And so this trip, I knew I wanted to pick a bag. I just didn't know like what type or anything like that. Alyssa has a really impressive bag collection. So I was really excited to go with her because I could just be like, hey Alyssa, what bag should I get? And let her kind of just like guide me, you know? So one of her favorite bags was the Dior Bobby bag. So naturally, I got the Dior Bobby bag. So I actually initially, if you watch my vlog, I got the pebbled leather one. And when I was in store, I was originally looking for either a white bag or a logo kind of graphic designer looking bag. In that Dior store, they didn't have the white one. So I kind of settled for the pebble because I was like, oh, this is really pretty. I think I like pebbled leather more than the smooth leather and I wasn't mad at the color and with my outfit, it looked really cute. But the more I looked at the bag after I got home and unboxed it and the more I wore it with like other outfits, the less I liked it. So literally that same day, we called another boutique to make sure that they had the white one in store, brought it in and exchanged it. And I'm so happy that I got this white color because it goes with everything. I feel like white is such a great color and kind of like the only color left that I was missing in my collection because I have my black bags, I have a fun nude, beige bag, and I just wanted a good classic white that would go with everything. And I feel like the size of this bag is really nice because it is a smooth leather. It also cleans really easily. So that makes it really great for every day. And it's like a pretty structured bag. So it looks really classy, chic, and refined, but it still fits a lot of things in here. So if you guys want to see like a, what I have in my bag in a more like in-depth review on this bag, let me know, but I've been wearing it the last few days. It goes with every single outfit because it is white. It also is adjustable, so you can turn it from a crossbody to a shoulder bag, which is like really useful. Love this bag, really gorgeous. I'm really happy that I picked it up in the white color because it's such a striking bag. So with that bag on one of the later days in our trip, I decided I wanted to pick up a little bag strap with it. And 
I have yet to put this on the bag, but this is a strap. I actually got the thinner version. And I do have the Dior saddlebag and I picked up the bigger, thicker strap with that bag. And ever since I've kept the strap on the bag. So I wanted to do the same with the body bag and I wanted to get a thinner strap just because I feel like it goes with the bag a little bit better. So I just feel like the strap is kind of a fun look. It kind of spices up any outfit. I originally was looking for a more like white gray strap colorway but that did not exist in the thin strap at the time that i was there i think i'm just gonna keep an eye on if any new straps or colorways release because if it does i might have to snag that and potentially resell that but right now i'm really happy with this little bag combination and the packaging that the little strap came in i feel like half the joy of shopping designer is the packaging that everything comes in it's just Deluxe. Next thing that I picked up is another thing from Dior. I actually went kind of Dior crazy. Probably went into four or five different boutiques literally looking for the white bobby colorway. And while we were there, we just wanted to look at all the little pieces. So we picked up little souvenirs at each one, if you will. <laughs> Next thing that I picked up from Dior is actually a little bracelet and packaging. Is so stinking cute. This is what the bracelet looks like. It's very chic, clean, and minimalistic. And I originally bought it because I love the little pearl detailing and I just thought this would be so cute to add to my existing little wrist stack. But when I actually put it on, it actually ends up getting really lost. And especially for the money, I think this was like 500 euros or something like that it's kind of a lot of money to spend on a bracelet just for it to kind of get lost in my stack and the chain flips around so you can't even really tell that it's like a Dior bracelet or anything like that so I kind of regret not picking up a bangle or a ring so I think I'm just gonna hold on to this for now and see if I could potentially exchange it for something else that I'm obsessed with Next thing that I picked up is kind of fun. I actually picked up a couple of gifts for Brandon. This is one of the things that I picked up for him. We were randomly just like vintage shopping, walking along the street, and we stumbled upon this like leather glove boutique, and it's called Caba Gantier. But inside they have so many different gloves, textures, fabrics, all different styles. There's like suede gloves, leather gloves, the most beautiful ranges of gloves you've ever seen and that's pretty much all this shop sold. I didn't really have like a good pair of gloves. I feel like I always buy little cheap like knit gloves and then every time I travel I'll forget to bring it with me. So I wanted to invest in a pair that I would wear for a really long time, remember to bring it with me on all my trips so whenever my hands are cold, I'm prepared. And I just thought leather gloves was like such a cute vibe. So these are actually just like black leather gloves. They're lined with cashmere inside and they're just stunning. So on the hands, kind of small, but they're supposed to stretch out. On the hands, I just feel like they look so regal and luxe. And I just love the way that the cashmere and leather feels because it really keeps my hands really warm, but I still feel like it's not a whole lot of weight and thickness on my hands. I love these. I think they're absolutely stunning, but while I was there, I also picked up a pair of gloves for Brandon and Brandon has been wearing driving gloves when he like drives. He drives a stick shift, so this is kind of like a fun little gift for him. He loves this color right now, matches his bike, so I thought that was kind of a sweet little gift idea and he loved it. Next little things that I picked up are from a vintage shop and this is from a store called Valois Vintage and they actually had a lot of really good pieces. This is one of the stores that Brandon and I wanted to go check out while him and I were in Paris in November and we didn't have time so that was a huge bummer but I'm really glad this time around that we got to check it out and it's really hard to record inside stores because a lot of the boutique owners, you know, just are really, they don't want everyone seeing what they have, you know? So I actually knew going into this trip that I wanted to pick up some designer jewelry pieces just because it's kind of a fun addition to add to your look, you know? So I picked up these little J'adore Dior earrings and I guess I just was 
Dior obsessed this trip, but these earrings are so pretty. They are little pearl earrings, but there's like a smaller pearl in the front and the bigger pearl in the back. So when you have them on, it's kind of a subtle little piece and it really helps to elevate any night look. And I actually wore these earrings with a slick back bun. I just feel like the whole look was such a vibe. So I'm obsessed with these earrings. I'm really glad I got these. And Alicia actually picked up a pair of brand new Dior earrings that she ended up paying a little bit more and she was very jealous that I got those, so. Last thing that I picked up, and I believe this is the last thing that I picked up from Dior. Um, this is also vintage, and I believe I got this from, I think I also got this from Valois Vintage, but it is a vintage Dior necklace. And I just think that this is such a cool piece. Obviously I have a lot of jewelry going on right now, so I would have to wear it like either by itself or something like that, but I feel like with a low top, or layered on top of like a t-shirt or high neck top, it would be such a vibe. And I love that it's a chunkier piece of jewelry. It's kind of like a choker laying. So I just don't have anything like this in my collection. It's very cool and fun. And obviously I'm obsessed with Dior, so I'm really happy about that. And both of these pieces are not real gold. It's kind of like costume jewelry. So I think it's a brass situation. So it's not going to tarnish. It's going to stay this color, but it's not real gold. Next thing that I picked up. So if you guys watched my vlog, you may have seen that I was on a crazy hunt for the YSL sunglasses and I got them. <laughs> So I literally went to probably four or five different St. Laurent stores. I called a couple places. I even went to sunglass optical shops to look and they were pretty much sold out everywhere. And these are actually the sunglasses that Hailey Bieber wears a lot. And these are called the Mikas. They're kind of like a cat eye situation. And I just, I love the way that they look. It's just very classy. It goes with every outfit and anytime I'm wearing even like a basic outfit, I feel like I can throw this on and it helps to elevate and bring the look to the next level. So I'm obsessed with these. I'm really glad that I was able to find them and I just feel like it's a very timeless sunglass. So before I picked up the YSL sunglasses, I was kind of losing hope and I was in a sunglass hut and one of the salespeople was able to help me find a pair that was very similar to it. So I actually picked up this pair before I picked up the Saint Laurent sunglasses, but I ended up liking them so much that I ended up keeping both of them. This is actually the, uh, I don't know what these are called, but I'll go ahead and pop the name on the screen, but these sunglasses are from Celine. These are a little bit more of a like chunkier, almost like edgier vibe. I really like these. They're a little bit heavier than the Saint Laurent ones, but these are definitely a fun statement. And I feel like Celine's sunglasses are so striking. Both shapes are very similar, but different enough vibes where I could justify keeping both. Then the last thing that I picked up while I was in Paris is some Goyard wallets. I actually initially wanted to get a Chanel card holder wallet, but for the life of me could not find a black Chanel simple card holder because they are sold out everywhere. So we kind of just went into Goyard last minute just to look at what they had and ended up leaving with a wallet for myself and a wallet for Brandon. So mine is a little bit more of a simple card holder and I feel like this is great because it is so small and compact and it's gonna go with any purse that I throw inside it. I ended up going with a navy colorway because I feel like it was the best looking out of all the neutrals that they had. It is really tight right now because I just got it, but it also has a middle flap for cash monies and everything like that. And I just feel like these are really timeless, durable wallets. Alicia and Alyssa also had Goyard wallets, so they attested to the quality. So then I also got Brennan a little wallet as well. So I actually really like this because his actually opens up long ways versus the like standard way. And I feel like this wallet is a good mid-size for him. It's the same navy color as mine, so we're kind of matching, which is cute. And it's just a really good size. So for guys, I feel like wallets are always a great gift idea and he really likes it. I also thrifted this jacket from a vintage store near Valois Vintage. This is actually from Chloe. I'm obsessed with it. It's kind of like a wool tweed material, but I love the crop cut and I've been wearing it a lot recently. I picked this up because I don't have anything like this in my collection and I got it around $200, which for a vintage Chloe jacket that I love so much is a great deal. 
So anyways, that brings us to the end of this haul. This is everything that I picked up while I was in Paris. I'm normally not a huge shopper, but I knew going into this trip that I wanted to buy a lot of things. I kind of wanted to go ham and just get whatever I wanted. And it was just a fun trip with the girls and to be able to get their input and kind of go outside my comfort zone and get things that I wouldn't typically get for myself. It was really fun, but definitely for the next couple of months, I'm gonna chill. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll go ahead and leave the Paris vlogs right here if you haven't seen them yet. We had a really great trip. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, if you want to see a what's in my Dior Bobby bag, let me know. Thumbs up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!